Welcome to In the Girls Corner. I'm your host, Carrie Steller, where MMA meets beauty and a little of everything else. So I'm going to start out with saying I'm in a fantastic mood from having a fantastic weekend. Um, a long weekend, but a very fantastic weekend, and I can't wait to do it all over. So I'm going to start out with a big, big, big thank you to Bellator and everybody over there. You really took care of me. I had a wonderful, wonderful time great seat. I sat with great people. The crowd behind me was insane. They were absolutely hilarious. Um, the fights were phenomenal. I, I, I cannot say enough nice things about Bellator, the organization, um, the fighters, everything. It was just to top notch, all around, great time. I cannot wait to come and, and, and do another one. And um, with that, I'll just start off with a big congratulations to Phil Davis. One, I totally knew he was going to win. I'm a big fan of Mr. Wonderful. Always have been. Always will be. Liam McGeary is awesome, and he didn't look like himself. Uh, I, I, I didn't think that I... I've seen him fight before, and I didn't think that he looked like he normally did. But I, you know what? Who knows? It's MMA. He might not have been feeling well. Um, I think... Phil Davis, I've seen him fight better, so, you know, I don't think he fought bad. I'm just saying I think I've seen a more exciting fight out of both of them before, so. But either way, it was still really great to see Phil Davis back and uh, really exciting to see him have the belt. So congratulations on that, on your unanimous decision, Mr. Wonderful. Um, oh, fucking Mr. Personality, I will call him, is uh, Brendan Ward. Yo, dude was like right in front of me, got a couple of really great pictures. I think I even got him on video. He was absolutely awesome, taking pictures for all the fans, talking to people. I mean, you know, I've been to fights, never at that level. And um, I wasn't expecting everybody to be as nice as they were. And, and, and people, it was just, it was really great. Everybody was talking. It was a, a social event too, not just... Oh, you're sitting down watching fights. It was literally, it was, it was really wild. It was a great experience from top to bottom. And I cannot, I cannot express how much I can't wait to go to more fights. Cause that was just, it was great. But anyway, yeah, Brett and Ward, great, great performance. You're, you're a trip. Fucking personality and a half. Uh, first round TKO. I was really excited to see that. And, uh, you know, he was a, definitely a fan favorite. I'm pretty sure he was from Connecticut, so that's even cooler. You know, when you see somebody close to the hometown, you know, having a huge following and back up like that, it was just a uh, great time. And seeing it from that perspective, not seeing it from just the stands as a fan or on TV. Seeing it from, like, their corner, because I was pretty freaking close to everybody. It was just wild. Wild. Um, and, um... Oh, uh, Neiman Gracie. That was really cool to see a, a, a young Gracie out there doing his thing. Um, first round, arm bar. That was pretty cool over Rudy Beard. Yeah, yes. And that's who everybody thought he was going to win. He was a, a fan favorite of his Rudy. But uh, I didn't think that was going to happen. I kind of knew exactly what was going to go down. And um, it did. And it was a really great fight. It was a really great time. I had so much fun. I'm not going to get into all the fights of that night because... I was so overwhelmed that really more so getting my stuff together, taking videos, getting pictures for you guys, doing my social media and blogging. Um, I got lost in a, a, a lot of the first fights. It was just, just a great first experience. So, um, yeah. But what I can say is uh, Tommy English, you know what? I thought you did great. I, there's not many people that can make it to that level, so you know what? My friend did awesome, and uh, I, I I think that he 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 had that, but that's just my personal opinion. Um, so congratulations on getting to Bellator. That's fantastic. Win or lose, you did you did awesome, and you're a great guy guy to boot. So, you know, hats off. Um, yeah, that is my uh, Bellator experience. Oh, and my God, experience. Um, I might even throw some pictures into this video because I don't know if, you know, people that are not on my Facebook or on my Twitter or whatever didn't see all of them. So maybe I'll just throw in all the pictures of who I saw and what I saw. And, uh, fucking coolest part of the entire night. I'm sitting there, you know, next to these two blogger guys. I can't remember their names, which really sucks because they were awesome. And, uh, a couple other guys. 
and Royce Gracie is standing there and he's taking pictures and he's talking to people and you know I was like oh, I want a picture so bad that I didn't want to fangirl out you know like that's not my job my job is to do this so as he's walking towards us I uh, grab my phone and I you know started snapping a couple pictures of him and he saw me and he smiled and he came over and he touched my shoulder now I'm gonna fangirl out totally touched my shoulder he's like are you having a good night I, didn't, I was just like oh my god I didn't even really know what to say I think I just looked up and I was like yeah and that was really all I could do I wanted to ask him to take a picture but I didn't want to you know I mean it, it just didn't feel like the right moment but anyway that was awesome for me fucking ah oh, that was like the highlight of my world the godfather of MMA himself came over to only me P the fuck ass there was a lot of people around me, and I was the only person that he came over and said hi to. So, at least out of the press that was around me. Um, maybe. And then uh, I met Stitch, OG of Cutman. That was really, really, really cool. Uh, I liked him and followed him for a long, long time. So, I've known him. He's just, he's the man. And uh, he literally was walking past. I just yelled out. I was like, Stitch! And he came over, and he started talking to me and the two guys sitting next to me. And I got a picture with him. He was really, really, really nice, actually. Uh, he sat down with us for like five or ten minutes to walk to us. It was great. Who else was there? Oh, well, obviously, you know, Big John was like right over by us. Chael Sonnen was like a, right there, not too far from me. But again, I don't want to, I, I, like, I don't think that's my position to fangirl out. Like, when, when I have the opportunity to, you know, meet people... In, in a in a professional way and not be like, oh, I totally will do it. Like when I met Stitch, he was awesome. He was walking past, said his baby came over and talked to us. Um, but I'm not going to act like an asshole. That's just stupid. Um, and, and that's not even in my character anyway to do that. Although I was having little moments in my head where I was like, oh my God, I can't believe I'm seeing these people like right there. But it was, it was really, really great. I had such a good time. And I wish everybody could have been there because that's just something that, you know, you don't get to experience too often. And I've, got, I've gotten very lucky in my lifetime to have experienced a lot of the stuff that I have. Uh, I've been to Fashion Week, Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week, first front row seats, Matt Joan Rivers, Star Jones, quite a few people. Um, pictures about all of them. So I've gotten very, very lucky and in a basic bitch kind of way, I'm going to say I've been blessed. Um, i trying to make this episode a little funny too because again, I was having a really tough time for a couple weeks there. That's why it's been a month since I've been an episode because beyond um, life and life's bullshit and you know, we all have stuff. The political nonsense and everything going on on Facebook, I literally couldn't even get my head into enjoying myself. But this weekend really, really, really just saved me in that way, which was awesome. And I needed that. And uh, this next this co weekend coming up is looking to be just as good. I'm going to be dropping some news probably live on Facebook because I didn't get it yet, which I was hoping I would before I filmed. Um, and if I do before I put it up later, maybe I'll throw it in there. But, um, yeah, I have some really, really, really big news uh, about an event I'm going to be attending this weekend. So I'm pretty freaking excited about that. And um, <clears throat> UFC 205, guys. Fucking New York. It's finally here. It's pretty exciting. Um, I wish I could be there, but, you know, unfortunately, that's not my stars yet. But it will be, and I am confident in that. Confident I will end up there. 420% confident. So, with that being said, I'm pulling out my phone because I didn't have the time to write all this down, and I really didn't want to. So I'm gonna go down my rundown of who I'm. I think is gonna win, and this really sucks. So I might be wrong on a couple, and don't crucify me if I am, because I have friends that are fighting. So my heart is gonna override my head without a question, and that's okay. Um, <clears throat> So without further ado, my picks for UFC 205, and I'm going to start out with the undercard with Liz Carmouche and Caitlin Chupigan. Now, of course, I want Caitlin Chupigan to win because she's from Pennsylvania. She fights, I believe, out of New Jersey. Um, she's awesome. I've, she's fought once in the UFC. She won by decision. She's an um, awesome fighter, great chick. 
Uh, I, I definitely, definitely would love to see her win. Anybody near the hometown, you want to see one, especially on a card like this. But um, I'm also a big fan of Liz Carmouche, and she's a beast. So if experience is going to override, you know, time in the, in the big show in the octagon, I would go with Liz Carmouche. And also she's just... She really is. She's a beast. She's a tech technically fantastic. So I think she's going to win, although I would love to see Caitlyn Troop again. But I think my head, I'm going to just go with Liz Carmen, which is going to take that. Um, Raphael Natal, Tim Bosch. I'm going with Tim Bosch. Um, he's a big favorite of mine for a long time. Always liked him. Dude's a beast. Going with him. I'm going to go with him second round knockout or third round decision, um, obviously. Uh, Jim Miller, Tiago Alves, this is another one where I'm, I'm fucked five weeks from yesterday because I love them both. They're both uh, going to be Hall of Famers. You got J Jim Miller, who's been in it since back in the day, big fan of him. Uh, Tiago Alves, another one. He's awesome. And uh, I'm friends with him on Facebook. So you know what? Uh, as much as I love Jim Miller, I'm going to give it to Tiago Alves. He's cool. Except in my friendship, I'm going with him. Uh, and he's the Pitbull man, so let's go with him. Go Tiago. Um, Vincent Le I can't pronounce his name, last name, Laque, I'm going to say. And uh, Bilal Muhammad. And I'm going to go with Bilal Muhammad because he's been on a tear. And that guy's a beast. The last time I saw him fight, I think they went, the ref let it go just a touch too long. And the look in his eyes was like, if I could have just killed this guy, like he had this, this look. And I think I even said that on one of my podcasts. Fucking really nice guy though, so I'm gonna go with Bilal. Um, they both have a great record, although Bilal's ten and ten and one, and uh, Vincent's ten and five. So yeah, going with Bilal Muhammad. Um, Rashad Evans and Tim Kennedy. What the fuck? Why are you putting together all these people that I like so much? Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. I really, really, really don't. My head's going with Tim Kennedy. My heart wants to see Rashad Evans come back and win, but my head's going with Tim Kennedy. And, uh, yeah, I think uh, Tim's going to take the win. Um, Khabib, uh, Nurm Gadov, I'm a big fan of him, and I'm a big fan of Michael Johnson, who just took back a huge win uh, for his first time back in a long time off of a huge injury. That was uh, uh, one of my last podcasts I talked about, and I'm really excited for this fight. Another one I don't want to... I don't want to pick. I don't want to pick. I think it's going to be, um, ah, fuck. I don't want to pick. And you know what? That one I'm not going to. I'm sorry. I'm not going to. I refuse to pick on that one because I'm such a fan of both of them. Such a fan that it, I'm not even going there. Um, Frankie Edgar and Jeremy Stevens. I'm obviously going to go with Frankie Edgar. Come on, guys. We all want to see him win. He's fucking awesome. He's from New Jersey. Edgar's taking that. Um, Misha Tate and Raquel Pennington. Uh, teacher versus student. That's actually a pretty exciting matchup to say the least considering Misha Tate was Raquel Pennington's coach on um, the Ultimate Fighter of their season. So, um, you know what? I'm going to go with Raquel Pennington. I think she's going to shock the world. I'm going to go with Rocky. Um... I think she's going to put a hell of a shocker. Although Misha Tate is super experienced and she's a great fighter. I just, I'm a big fan of the underdog in general. So that's, you know, I would love to see that as an outcome and drama wise, you know. However, however, the other spin of it is uh, Misha Tate winning. And um, I, you never know. It could go this. I'm, I'm going to go with this one. I'm not going to say definitely who's going to win. I'm going to say the scenario is if Misha Tate wins. Um, I think if, if she wins, it'll be by submission, and it's going to be like a sneaky peek kind of thing, like just, just sneak that shit in there, um, but it'll be by submission, rear naked choke, possibly arm bar, and um, she'll then end up fighting the winner of uh, uh, Amanda Nunes, Ronda Rousey. I'm kind of feeling seeing the third Ronda Rousey, Misha Tate. I don't, she said it was, Ronda Rousey said it's going to be one of her last fights, so I, I've seen something in the works in, in my brain, so don't say I didn't tell you so, but I think that's going to happen. So anyway, um, Kevin Gastelum and uh, Donald Cerrone, I'm going with Cowboy, motherfucker, I love him, big fan, 
Big fan of Donald Cowboys running. I like Kevin Gasolum too, but I'm going with uh, Cowboy. Everybody loves to see the Cowboy win. He's just a beast, and he's always down to fight, and who doesn't like that? And uh, Chris Weidman versus Yol, Yol Romero, and I've said that I think Yol is going to win, but um, my heart wants to see Chris Weidman win. New York, all the way, Long Island, nonetheless, so I am going to confidently say that I want, and I'm putting in my uh, good vibes for Weidman to take the W home, because uh, I think he could use it, and um, yeah, New York could use it, motherfuckers. Now that'll put him back into the title contention, so uh, Chris Weidman, you got my vote. And uh, they both have a pretty cool record, so it, it wouldn't, you know, wouldn't shock me. I mean, they both each have one loss, and then and, and, uh, Chris Wyman's a little bit more experienced. But anyway, I, I, I'm i going with Chris Wyman. Joanny Ojechek is definitely going to be Carolina Kowalkowitz. I can't pronounce your last Kowalkowitz. Yeah, maybe that's it. I'm probably most likely pronouncing it wrong, but I'm going with the champ. JJ's going to take it. That's my girl. Pulling in the house. Um, she's a beast. I don't, don't think there's going to be anybody that can beat her in a long time. It'll happen. Everybody gets beat. No, I just don't think it's going to happen in a very long time. So I'm going with JJ. Um, Tyrone Woodley or Steven Thompson. Uh, I, I, I really like them both, but I think Tyrone Woodley is going to retain that belt. Um, I think he worked his ass off for it. And I don't think that he's going to let it go that easily. I think it's going to be a hell of a fight. I just don't think he's going to let it go that easily. Uh, and the last fight, Conor McGregor and Eddie Alvarez. Fucked if I know, but I think I'm going to go with Conor McGregor uh, on experience. And just, I just think he's going to shock everybody. Um, yeah, he's, he's, he's uh, just a different kind of a... Dude, and I think he's gonna hand back the featherweight title, and I think he's gonna retake take the uh, lightweight title. I think he's gonna retire for a little bit, and uh, I'm gonna confidently say I think his, his girlfriend's pregnant, and that's what's gonna happen. Why he's going to uh, leave for a little while, take some time off. But that's just my spidey senses and my personal opinion. I've seen a couple people put their opinion out, and I thought that a while ago, but I never said it because. But now that I've seen quite a few people say it, I'll throw it out there. I think she's pregnant, and I think that's what's going on. So anyway, that is my. Picks for uh, UFC 205. Um, but yeah, so what I got going on, guys, I got the Super Ugly Show tomorrow night with my boys. It's also kind of why I did this tonight because I've been noticing that uh, a lot of my MMA podcasters are doing their podcast Sundays. So I'm going to start doing mine on Mondays. Fuck it. I have fans that don't watch football and, you know, I'll put it up at like 6.30, 7 o'clock so that the people that do can watch me before that. And um, so, yeah, I got the Super Ugly Show tomorrow night. Um, definitely have some interviews coming up with, uh, a couple chicks, and then I got, um, I have, oh, that Friday night I might have something going on. I will have that drop this week, definitely live on Facebook. I'm pretty freaking excited, and uh, I'll have the link to get tickets, too. It's a big event. I'm stoked about it. Cannot wait. And, uh, yeah, I got a lot of big events coming up, and I can't wait, and I can't wait to see you guys at them, and, um... I think that about wraps it up, and let's try to have a better day, guys. Tomorrow, it's all over. The elections are done. We don't need to deal with this shit any longer. So I think everybody should just kind of get their heads out of their asses and cut the shit, because after that, I mean, really, who's going to be hating each other anymore? What are you going to have to hate on? So uh, it's all over finally. I think that's why I'm in a better mood. But anyway, guys, have a wonderful day. I will see you guys uh, after this weekend with some my wrap up on UFC 205 on um, my Friday night's event and everything else so um have a wonderful one in the girls corner with Carrie Seller motherfuckers my shit drops on the floor